already have problems in Uganda and in Iwapi, Museveni has decided mm. he will amend the constitution and two further notice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it might just be even succession now after this. Is so, this power uh, yes, it's, it's, it's quite ridiculous. <laughs> and then you have, uh, I've been saying this for some time now, and it, it quite confuses me. But now that you've said, you've put it like that, some, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's an African mentality, but even West Africa, you see, we have a Kina Gabon who are having a coup right now. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to believe due process was followed, and then somehow, somewhere, some general decided, you know what, you're not doing it the way it's supposed to be done. We have, uh, I, I don't know if, no, Cote d'Ivoire, I'm not sure. There was a fail coup just around there in Gabon. Like West Africa, Nigeria had the same, the, 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 the people were trying to audit the elections Nigeria. as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's just, is it an African thing? Uh, can we just not have one term? Please take your one term kindly and go home. Exactly. If you have achieved what you said you're going to achieve, the plan was yours, the manifesto was yours. We did not force you to write it for us. Mm -hmm. But if you are unable, please leave it for the next person. Is it not possible? You know, these countries, every country is ruled by their laws. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Kenya, we have our own, our own laws. Mm -hmm. Uganda, the same, to those countries. So we have our own constitution. And our constitution is very clear. Mm -hmm. You want for two terms? Legally, two mm. times. So, and we have not yet amended our constitution. Mm. So, Uganda, they have the president age limit. <laughs> Kenya, we have the term limit. <laughs> so, other countries also like Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. the same, you know. Mm -hmm. South Africa, maybe they have the limit. So, it depends. So, we'll never talk, but in generally Africa, mm. we have been ruled by politics. In Africa, we are drawing in power. Mm -hmm. Any president, you'll be good outside. Mm -hmm. But who can get power? Now you see things, you know, power is sweet. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, if today you'll be welcome to state house, you feel to the hair, you'll never want to I'm get out from there. Yeah, I'm so power is sweet. Way. So when the power is sweet, everybody wants to rule forever. Mm -hmm. Like Museven is, Akuna uh, Kitwajawana for the last 35 years. Uh, he, has, he has traveled everywhere, he has seen everything. Mm -hmm. But because the power is sweet, you want to still to be there. Mm -hmm. So Africa, we want to at least, for the coming future, want to end this cast of like when you have the president you know even the president now he enjoys the power and he's doing all his wealth to run uh, to for to please the people so that he can run for the second time mm -hmm. you know the same same person who wants to end also this power will do so mm -hmm. so africa i don't think that you will have one term president it's very hard do you think uh, as you've also answered this particular question for mm -hmm. one term and that one term again as you said depends on whichever constitution that is run by the said country. Do you think Africa is ready for a female president? Although there are specific ones, like I think two or three. But Kenya, are we ready for, like Tanzania, we have yeah. Sulu. But do you imagine yeah. Kenya is, is ready for a female president? Do you imagine Uganda for all their politics and purposes? Do you think Nigeria? Do you think, uh, do you imagine? Because yes, you want I to be the I first I female president <coughs> where you are at right now. Do you imagine? The yes. climate is ready for a female president. Yes, I believe we are ready for a female president. We didn't know we will be ready. Tanzania did not know they were ready for a female president. Actually, yes. And, but she got in and she, she's doing well. Mm -hmm. So I think given a chance, given the opportunity, we are ready for that. But she got in because of her situation, not yes. she was elected. Yes, see, yes, yes, no, yes. yes. Yeah. But it worked out well for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so do I you think we are ready for it? Yes, we are. Tony, do you think there's no time that we can say for after now 10 years will be ready there'll be no time so we are ready i don't think so if the roles were reversed if the opposition was run by uh Mahishma, Mapa, and mm -hmm. then baba maybe was coming in second do you think it would have no in africa we have culture uh -huh. we still believe in our culture uh -huh. that what a man that is mean? the head okay. yeah wow. so and so you cannot be led by a female yeah so we it's in africa not even in kenya but this is politics. yeah not you country. know, Western countries doesn't have culture. Uh -huh. You know, you, when you're born in Western country, you are a female, you are a man. Uh -huh. So you can do, you are equal. But in Africa, we used to believe that man is the head. So that's why so you impeached the governor for Meru? No, you, you, <laughs> see, <laughs> you see this thing of governor of Meru, and, and this thing is MCS, by the way. Mm. We elect MCS because maybe of situations. Maybe of, maybe he was a hustler. Mm. You elect him, but when MCA reaches the parliament, he doesn't know what he does. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know anything. I've, like, I don't want to use my MCS like example, mm -hmm. but I can give you a very good example. Mm -hmm. My MCS, a few days ago, tried to impeach a CC. Wow. CC for Baringo. Mm -hmm. Because of beards, you know. Wow. So you ask yourself uh, the kind of a person you elected. So it's very funny. It sounds funny. How will you, 
this is my mode of dressing mm -hmm. and, and my beard is part of my dressing. Mm -hmm. So will you tell me how to shave it? Mm -hmm. So like wasting eight hours sitting <laughs> down, <laughs> debating yes. on my beard <laughs> and my CG <laughs> counter suit or whichever. Mm -hmm. at, at, because I'm taking alcohol, mm -hmm. so I, even you MC you are taking alcohol, it depends with the time. If you go and, and hide yourself and take, mm -hmm. and, and I take mine at pro daylight, mm -hmm. it's food. It's we, we are all taking it. Mm -hmm. But it depends. I, situation yako ni kujificha mi ni So you are debating that this man is taking alcohol. Like, so like, this is like a like lifestyle like. situation. Yeah, right? so mm -hmm. we want to tell our MCs, you have only three roles. To legislate, mm -hmm. represent. You know, mm -hmm. you represent the point of a site. Mm -hmm. But now imagine an MCA maybe was from uh, class eight people were campaigner. Mm -hmm. They elected him. Now oversighting a CC, mm -hmm. CC finance, somebody who is having a lot of CPOs. Mm -hmm. Then now a standard eight person will tell Ooh, you, you know, your Shots peers. have been fired. So uh -huh. we, we want to tell our MCAs, eh? mm -hmm. even the MCAs of Meru. Me, I don't think Kawira did anything wrong. Mm -hmm. We want to change this constitution and we make this. If you want to impeach even a governor, the people, we give power now back to the people. The people yeah. go for uh, public participation, mm -hmm. they gather their nini, then now the people will demand for the impeachment not the MCS, because these MCS, they are being used. And if you hear the money they have been given even, why, why if you want to impeach a governor, mm -hmm. why, why should you go for a meetings with, uh, with oppositions, mm -hmm. with opposition leaders to the governor? Mm -hmm. So we want to tell our MCS, you just stick what the people send you to do, just the oversight the government. Mm -hmm. And the problem also with my MCS, what they did, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a big problem. How will you impeach somebody direct? You know, the, you know, impeachment is a process. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, it's not something. It's a process. Like you are cooking ugali. <laughs> so people direct went to the bunke, put a motion and impeach somebody. If you want to impeach a governor or, or, or a CC, you call him first. Mm -hmm. You 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 have a talk. You you just ask him, grill him. Is this real? Is this mm -hmm. right? Now after that, now you'll explain himself. Mm -hmm. You'll defend himself. Then now you go for a fort. If now, if if you go for a fort, yes. Or oh not no. to impeach him, mm. or if you are not for that, you now go to the bunge, mm. then you fought. Like, is are we going to a committee way or mm -hmm. a full house way? Mm -hmm. You know, to impeach somebody. But my people impeach him direct. Mm -hmm. we do even now, because the impeachment failed, mm -hmm. now they are calling for the CC wow. to answer questions. Which questions will I answer? And you try to impeach me without due process. We, yeah, so <laughs> it's a big problem in our assemblies. May how do you feel about the impeachment of the governor of May? And although, according to the ground, there had been very heavy allegations that she was practicing nepotism. nepotism. Yes. I, do, I don't know about the politics of Meru mm. very well, but I believe it's too early. Just like we said, we should give time to our president mm -hmm. to see results. I believe Governor Kawira Mongaza should mm -hmm. be given time to deliver, to show her people she can deliver and work. Mm -hmm. One pair time, they are pushing her too hard. It's only one year down the line. Mm -hmm. And uh, before they elected her, they were saying good things about mm -hmm. her. I believe she had an organization that used to help people in Meru. Mm -hmm. So give her time to work, give her a chance. She can't work if you, co you are constantly pushing her towards the edge mm -hmm. or you want to impeach her about nepotism. I'm not in support of nepotism. But if she's, the allegations are true, mm -hmm. I think it's something that uh, should be changed mm -hmm. nationally. Mm -hmm. People should should be given jobs because of their merit. Mm -hmm. And if they are family and they merit and they are good to go, why mm -hmm. not? Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh -huh. secondly, this Talk thing of mm -hmm. this thing of Kawira Mangasa, yeah? Kawira is being fighted by strong forces, mm -hmm. very big forces. Do you think this is uh, yeah a, a, a means to an end? Like there's something bigger yeah, going on and here. and it for Unona Kawira, she's a woman, mm -hmm. as she said earlier, like men usually demean the women and now a woman has one weakness you know a woman unajua mwanamke akumboa like a man alitolewa kwa mwanaume so she doesn't have that boldness like to defend himself mm -hmm. now if he was a man the producer of the day is female she's about <laughs> to come down and ask you <laughs> personal questions <laughs> now <laughs> you know the problem with with kawira now uh -huh. she's not that you know like a mom she has that heart of you know kufunjika mm -hmm. so you know when you are rasa she can cry uh -huh. You know, but a man can say, why, why are you doing this to me? Mm. And even he can fight you back. Mm. But because she is a woman and the forces in Atoka Mbali, you know, they are fighting her. But me, I'm praying her good for her. Mm. She's a good woman She's also. Mm -hmm. She has helped people of Meru. But I want to appeal to MCS. Please, 
sometimes don't be used because I'll use you today. Tomorrow I'll come and crucify you. Because if you were cheap, mm -hmm. I used you. Mm -hmm. we, you will be also cheap. Mm -hmm. I kill you. So it will be easy to, for me to kill you because I used you mm -hmm. to gain me. And if they win to offer Nini with throw that woman. Now the the, the the deputy one, I, I heard he was a, he is a reverend, mm -hmm. and, and we have qualifications to be a governor. So he'll not even make to be the governor. So now, mm -hmm. what's happening in Meru, they will they'll give in for the deputy governor, if, it if, if, if the case wins, if the MCS won, the mm -hmm. if it, they will win the case. Mm -hmm. Now then, the, the, this one will handle like the governor, mm -hmm. then the court will not allow. So if the court will not allow, then now we go for the speaker By for mm -hmm. 60 days. Mm -hmm. Then the mayor will go for an election. And that's wasting too much time. Yeah, too, too much time, years. money. Uh, right now we don't have uh -huh. even the acting IBC, uh, the working IBC. I think there's a loophole somewhere in the constitution because even in Nairobi County, there's mm -hmm. a time we did not have a governor. Mm -hmm. When, when yeah, time. when my uncle just kind of left, there's mm -hmm. a time um, his his nanny, his deputy. He oh. didn't have a deputy. He can't. Ah, he can't. The, the next one. Yeah, yeah. He yes, he, 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 that he one. Yeah. There was a time him he left office. So mm -hmm. that yeah. as in there's just a, a very yeah. big loophole according to this devolution plan. Like you can find no, no, yourself without. The, the, the story of Nairobi was a game. You remember <laughs> Ikade <laughs> went. No, uh -huh. Ikade went. Uh -huh. Then, then Songo was impeached. Uh -huh. Then Songo. It happens that they went to the court. They say I use I I appointed some days back Kanam. Wow. If you if you still she's remember, there, she's still there. Uh, mm. Songo said, "I I once mm -hmm. appointed nobody knew, uh -huh. so from nowhere can I know you see." Then Kidogdogo Songo wanted to go to Mombasa. He wanted to, uh, mm. no, it's that's politics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about at least one thing in the newspaper today, guys. Gosh, we've had such an interesting conversation. I've not even touched on this. First of all, it's the end of an era. Mm -hmm. The 844 system is finally coming to an end. Wow. How are you feeling about that? You like, we are all 844 clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Clearly. So how? See now the thing is, I'm not very exposed to people who have children who are going to the CBC program. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not really. I just know it's, it's a lot of effort. It's very involving. The parents, the teachers, the students. There's a lot of assessment based versus exams. Mm -hmm. There's, there's more. Mm -hmm. I want to believe learning and experiencing versus cramming mm -hmm. and doing yeah. exams. So, but the the, the fees that like at the expense part, I'm also a bit quite fuzzy about it. But how do you feel about an era coming to an end? I'm happy about it. Really, very happy. Why? About it. I didn't like eight four four. Uh -huh. It, I feel like it took so much from students. Mm -hmm. it, it needed you to cram, to have sleepless nights. Mm -hmm. Hey me, when I was in class eight, I was beaten. You were being caned. I hated it. <laughs> then I went to high school. Mm -hmm. At least when I went there, there was no caning. Mm -hmm. It was illegal. But still, there was that. You have to cram. You have to do 12 subjects that most of them, you don't even know if they are going to be useful in the later life. Mm. But <coughs> I'm having the experience at the university because mm -hmm. there is learning. Then there is engaging. You're able to practice what you're learning. Mm -hmm. So I believe from an early age, if that is instilled, it's a good thing students being able to engage with their teachers, with their parents, mm -hmm. they are not scared of their teacher, they are not scared to learn. Mm -hmm. they, they don't hate school. I have nephews and nieces, mm -hmm. very many of them, and they're always excited to go to school. Wow. Very excited. When they come home, you're doing homework together. It's also a bonding time for kids and their parents. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy it's over. I used to say, I don't like it. I wish it could go, and I'm happy it's gone. gone sooner. That's yeah, sooner. <laughs> Okay, Tony, totally let me phrase it like this for you. The, okay, competency-based curriculum apparently mm -hmm. is, is heavy on, on the learning experience versus the exams. Mm -hmm. now, there was a joke flying around when it was just coming into effect that as they ski our limo kinder strike, Mm -hmm. Ever since CBC came, ever since what one apeleka kuku kwa tcha, to end up pick a chapo, sijui to end up na jiko, I've never had teachers going on strike. So is is that something that maybe we're simulating into each other? No. Are we actually learning, loving to do what we no, do? No, I like the CPC. Mm -hmm. I I think the CPC is the best curriculum mm -hmm. we have in this country. I wish even I could have been that young to attend those mm -hmm. because right now, for example, you are a journalist, but uh, form for about 12 subjects. Eh? I don't think even if you did journalism in it. So physics, physics. Yeah, yeah, physics good. Yeah. But now, you, you know the positive side of the CPC. 
we will have good cooks, chefs, mm -hmm. the best one. Even a hotel, you will have very good food. Mm -hmm. You will have good drivers, mm -hmm. mechanical. You know, they are showcasing their, their, their talents. Mm -hmm. You find these uh, uh, young girls making or young children making these beats. So th they are showing their talent. Now we are trying to emulate the Western, Western countries, what they do. And I think this CPC is fine. It's good. Mm -hmm. We want to just to support it. And we want the government now to, to put a lot of money mm -hmm. on it. Then now, when you finish CPC, we know your talent. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are singers, they are actors, comedians. Now, so unajua ina anja usome, you waste 20 years in school mm -hmm. and you are a good comedian, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> y you can be a good comedian, make comedy, make money. Mm -hmm. But when you see now, we have very rich comedians, mm -hmm. but somebody will tell you, I, I did a Pachel of Science. But now he's a comedian, I don't know how Pachel of Science comes out with comedy. So we want, because now we don't have jobs in Kenya, mm -hmm. but it's very hard to get. Like some few days ago, mm -hmm. I, I don't know which industry here, mm -hmm. called for a job interview for, to go to, it was, I don't know, Thailand or which country outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want 1,000, but people who attended for the job interview, was more th they were more than 5,000. Mm -hmm. So you see, we, we have that scarce of job. So, but this EPC will at least show your talent when you're mm -hmm. and, and it will nurture somebody. At Okienda University, you know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, you know if when you go to university, you want to choose first. You have that big list. Can I go for this? Your parents will tell you go for this, but now this EPC, you will finish school knowing that I'm doing this one. You know, mm -hmm. and I think that's the best from the CPC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So now away from the CPC, there's definitely something over here on our front page that says, okay, first of all, Nane is coming to visit the British King. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want a joke. Like he waited 75 years to appear with Kazi. Imagine getting employed at 75. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I knew you are saying that you are late in life. When are you not late? Yeah, Relax. Yeah. Your time is coming. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. But now the, the highlight is what is intriguing me. It says, and this is according to People Daily. Rights group is <coughs> visiting King Charles to say sorry <laughs> for atrocities. Germany at Ajafika. British King and Queen are set to arrive in the country tomorrow, the first visit to a Commonwealth country since coronation as human rights groups demand an apology for colonial era rights abuses. First of all, why do you think he's coming? What is he coming to do? Is he uh, coming to seize property? Let's say Kamulu, so then that took Tembea Kuna Veni Shambayako, eh, Bado Muko, Mefanya King, and Lissama Mnafanya, or why is he actually coming? Though? Maybe he's coming to see his ancestral land. Ah. He was here saying so, maybe Anakudo Kona Mali was a son. Come, I can't say, but come on, but I can't say. Alpha number two, uh -huh. uh, the Britain mm. want us to still rule Africa. You know, now in, 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 in the Western countries, they are fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's America want to be superpower, China, Russia. Mm -hmm. So now the Britain also colonized most parts of this Africa. Mm -hmm. So they want us to be that relevant mm -hmm. and still be friends with Africa. You know, Africa, we, are, we have a lot of, we have a lot of minerals. We have a lot of co many everything. Yes. So mm -hmm. they have their own interest. Even when you see these fights in Africa, mm -hmm. Sudan, they are being sponsored by those Western countries. And now, if you want to win, if you want to win something, you let them fight, mm -hmm. then you come in. When you come in, you gain your own interest. Mm -hmm. That's why you find out some people give, they are giving us food, mm -hmm. reliefs, mm -hmm. for free. Not for free. They know what they are doing. Yeah, so yes. they are trying to do us to us to this, mm -hmm. then now they win what they want. But what I can say about the Nini mm -hmm. of coming, it's not new. I think even they have been in, in Kenya since, you know, mm. and we do agree. Let, let him come. Let's we want the positive side of him. Mm -hmm. But uh, we want also to be given our rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those people. But won't uh, it be uh, at uh, an expense? Yeah, it will. You know, we, we have to demand our rights. Your because colonialism is still happening. At yeah, the you, know, you know, we are in a colonial. Mm -hmm. we are, they, are, they are still colonizing us. Yeah. We are still economically colonized, even if you are not politically colonized. Actually, I'm really glad you brought that up because now mm -hmm. this is a conversation we had, I think, two, three Mondays ago. Mm -hmm. So we had a Haitian professor come, and this was just slightly after the news that we are deploying as a country a thousand troops mm -hmm. into Haiti. Mm -hmm. And first, guys, remember the hashtag is hands off Haiti, hands off Haiti. But why are we sending <coughs> them? Uh, after the, the superpower involved, this is the United States re 
retracted their own troops, right? Mm -hmm. Then they went to the UN. The UN is the one funding these particular troops to go into Haiti. Mm -hmm. But why would they do that? Because Haiti is, uh, what did she tell me? It's, I think, ever 200 and, and something years old. Like, like they got independence mm -hmm. 200 years ago. That's that's how many centuries born. And we're just 60-something 60 60 something years old. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the most powerful countries in Africa, that is Kenya, versus mm -hmm. the oldest according to independence. Mm -hmm. to we're fighting each other for no reason, or someone is puppet stringing us using somewhere. Using yes. They are being used as puppets. Y but. Tony, but. But. Yeah, we're being used. Uh -huh. Okay, in Kenya, obviously, we, we usually use the rule of law. As now, before they go out, bunge mm -hmm. the now, they give a go on, if, go if they are going. Go ahead. But the president knows why. Mm -hmm. And number two, if our soldiers are fine to go and fight, let them fight. Let them show the world that they are watching. But, but we don't, le let's not have the negative side of it. Okay, let I'm, me give I'm you not, the facts. I'm not in for them to go. Let to me just give you the facts. Haiti is, is what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. is, is not really civil war. It's, mm -hmm. it's more of gangs, organized mm -hmm. crime. Mm -hmm. Haiti, if you see it, how do you know Haiti? The, the only reason maybe I know Haiti is maybe because we are good. We maybe we are, we are good in dealing with gangs. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Let me finish. <laughs> let me paint for you a picture. Haiti, the only reason the world knows it because a couple of years ago, and by a couple I mean a couple of decades ago, they had a very devastating earthquake. Sure, sure. And, and there was, it was a whole thing but even right now as we're speaking it's very dilapidated like at a bada bada, we cannot compare nairobi as, mm -hmm. as a city <coughs> to you know <coughs> one of the places in haiti but yet for some reason their weapons are so advanced like the, the armory that they're using to fight each other as organized criminals mm -hmm. is surpassing even our own so where are they getting them from since they're being funded from somewhere else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes so why are we being used to fight uh, people with advanced weapons but we're outrightly could being used. But I, I don't think I don't think it's good for the for these soldiers to go there. Mm -hmm. yeah. On my view, mm -hmm. it's not good. We have a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Baringo problems mm -hmm. and, and Pokots. We have this Oklamu. Yes. And we as the Haiti is a sovereign country. Let them deal with their own issues. Mm -hmm. Le if if they have their own issues, let let them deal with the UN, United Nations. It's supposed then to be uh, neutral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not good for us. You know, maybe you know, the president is new, maybe he's doing things with that. Maybe for favor, you know? but uh, it's maybe but for favor, but uh, we don't want I those favor. We will not crucify our young young children because of favor. You know, they are pe people's fathers. And and what's wrong with our police? Do you think our police will <laughs> will do? I don't believe in them. So <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so the government also, if there is people supposed to be sent there, is the Kenya Defense Force, it's not the police. Wow. It's the police go it's the yeah, police yeah, not, special not, not unit. Not it's not the no, no, it it's, it's the police. Depending come on a unit your police. Uh -huh. the police is a police. They are when when the you training are is different. No, mm -hmm. when you are recruiting police, you are not recruiting G issue and whichever you're recruiting police. Mm -hmm. Police is police. Now they are they are subdivided with their enemy units. Mm -hmm. But a police is a police. No difference of a policeman. Training is no, different. I feel like I'm uh, going to disagree here a little bit because you can disagree, but even when you look at them, their physique and, mm -hmm. and their different training, mm -hmm. it's just different. Have you met with that unit? You're saying no. They're See, no, I don't. Yeah, know. then they are police. Yes. Wow, <laughs> Tony, is going to disagree with me, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It is okay. We'll clearly get to hear. Can I say something on that? that? Quite yes. Um, they are going there, yet in our country things are not good. I was uh, I had a meeting with people from Lamu mm -hmm. and things are bad there. Things mm -hmm. people are being killed in blood day daylight. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I wonder why they would go there yet things are not okay here mm -hmm. in our country. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it doesn't show a good picture mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. If it's for personal gain, it's not the right move. Yeah. It's not my the right my move. amusement as a person is that we are sending the largest number Here's mm -hmm. the other countries who are sending in the 50s and things, but they are sending a thousand eh, to Sindokse. Sindokse, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyway, I said my opinions <laughs> or any <laughs> other expressed here do not reflect those of the station. We're just having friendly banter, and I can see my time is about to run out. So, whew, I don't even know what to touch on here. Um, hmm. Ah, actually, now on security, let's finish with this. 60,000 security officers that is down here at the inset number T are deployed to provide security during the exams. 
according to Interior Permanent Secretary Raymond Omolo. So clearly we need our police and we have exams. Mm -hmm. Uh, in those mm -hmm. arid, semi-arid, Kinalamo also, we also yeah, need them yeah. in Haiti. So how many police do we actually have? Mm -hmm. Enough, enough police. More than enough, we can to even give away. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, 60, <laughs> no, not, not for Haiti, uh, maybe for this country, you have said 60 something police officers. Uh, we have enough for us. Thousand, We have enough for us. We have enough for us, not, not for us. Not, not yeah, enough yeah we have enough for us. All right, so <laughs> it but uh, uh -huh. there is this issue of uh, Baringo, you know, you see, when you see the mm -hmm. attack, Jeshu come in a primary school. Did so you see them lying on yeah, the ground? Yeah, Just about to take the so exam. So this thing now is a, is a very serious issue, and the government should come clean on this one. Mm. That one is a political political it's thing. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. You know, people are doing politics with the people. Mm -hmm. At the same time, maybe the people are doing trade mm -hmm. with the people. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell me that you have been stealing cows since 1970s <laughs> to now, now to only go in the wapi. Which, you know, they are stealing cows. They are using those people to steal. They are killing people. If now you want cows, you just go for the cow. Leave mm -hmm. alone innocent people. Mm -hmm. You are killing young children. You are killing policemen because of cows. You just go for the cows. Take the cows, live the life of your people. And the government should come clean. Mm -hmm. You cannot send soldiers now. And, and this, wanasemanga mkono ya serikali ni murevo. But why is still these people killing people and the police waku huko, KDF waku huko? So you see there is something, there is somebody who is sleeping in work. My concern we is even why they're so well armed. That yeah, they even have mm -hmm. yeah. To you cannot tell me that wa watu wanatoa api marisasi. Mm -hmm. Punduki sawa hiko, marisasi who is, who is, bring, who is taking me to them? Mm -hmm. So this thing is a political one mm -hmm. and a very big problem in this country. And mm -hmm. it's a trade also, those people. Those people using trade with the people. Now they have come to an extent now they don't even respect the government. They kill people, they kill police, and they take the cows. Now we are losing three things at once. Mm -hmm. So the government should come clean and deal with these people. Let them be, le let them take them like a terrorist. They are terrorists. If somebody is killing you, it's not different like that terrorist who is bombing you and whatever. Mm -hmm. So the government should come clean with this one, deal with these people ruthlessly. Okay. Yeah, in conclusion, what would you like to say before we close this up? I would like to say if mm. you're a youth out there, take up your role, we have the power, the power is in us. If we are to change the, the country, if we are to change the future of our country, it's up, for it's up to us. If, uh, if youths of past years did not take control, if they were not involved in politics, we would not be where we are today. Mm -hmm. The likes of Tomboya, of whom we refer as our forefathers, yet mm -hmm. he was so young, he was a youth. Mm -hmm. Di dying at the age of 38, we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. So we take up our role. Mm -hmm. Let's fight for, for our freedom as youths, fight for our rights, fight for good things in our country, for changes to happen. We need to stand up strong. We need to stand up together in one voice. Let's not small money convince you not <coughs> to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. We have it in us. And wherever you are, in whatever space you are, you have it in you and be the best. My mentor always tells me in whatever space you are in, whether you're scared, whether you feel you can't do it, be the best, mm -hmm. do the best. Look, if you feel you have uh, uh, ideas, work on them, the power is always in starting. When you start, you gain that power and you gain the power to continue. Consi consistency, 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 and it's all in your mind. If you're fighting with mental health, you got this. You have this and uh, nothing is impossible. You can get out of it and uh, you can be the best version of yourself and you can make out something out of yourself. Mm -hmm. Look at us, we are doing it. You can also do it wherever you are. Mm -hmm. You are if you are in Mount Kenya University. Amerian Wanjiro Kinyanjiri once again, <laughs> vying for the presidential seat 2024, mm -hmm. 2025. Let's look for new blood, young people, vibrant people, people who make a change, people who don't just eloquently eloquently say the problems of the comrades, people who bring solutions, and people who act on those solutions. Let's give a chance to capable leaders. Let's look at the capability of <coughs> leaders, not just what they tell us. Let's judge people according to what they have done and according to what they are doing. Mm -hmm. let's, let's judge each other with actions. And uh, wherever you are, vote for me ne come next year. Comrades power, I'm with the comrades. Uh -huh. I think uh, uh, help uh, 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 I think uh, 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 I think I think uh, 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 u
comrades wana sema wana kunywa uji mm. up until now so government look into that and uh, issues regarding youths please involve us they affect us directly we are the ones suffering and let's in inspire generations to come let's make changes let's get involved in politics and policies so that our our future generations our kids will enjoy and yeye ni mwana ni politician kikwacha uendelee kutoka hapa alafu alafu waambie waambie youth they don't forget this one mabema ndio best mabema ndio best mabema ndio best actually agree yeah. with me this is a saying um the, the one thing that keeps coming but never reaches is tomorrow yeah. but mnataka mm. kuwa leaders of tomorrow yeah so you have to it's do it now. mapema uh -huh. then you wait for the best uh -huh. so or you wait for the best so you unasema mabema ndio best so you start now then you wait for that best okay yeah. thank you so very much guys for thank coming it has been an honor to have thank conversation you. with you all right guys now we are about to Take a little break. We're not done with you yet. Brian Sacco 101 is about to come at you with a very interesting conversation. By the way, I don't know why he hasn't asked us, but it's fine. It's okay. He's asking you on our socials, at Vatas on Facebook, y four channel on X, formerly Twitter, and Instagram, as well as TikTok, YouTube, and all of those wonderful things, including but not limited to threads. My name is Valentine. Have a good one, but don't have it too soon. Stay here. <laughs>